<laughs> you look like a million bucks, Ivana. Getting some much needed rest after what feels like seven days of straight partying on the Serbian road trip. Yes. So just to recap everybody, we've made it to Mokragora. After we saw glamping down by the Drina River, which was something really nice. And we drank some champagne in a hot tub and then had a candle lit dinner, very memorable. We also stayed at a houseboat on Lake Paručec, which I think is my favorite place in all of Serbia right now. Jump in off the houseboat into the lake and then cooking chevap and drinking beer. Absolutely beautiful, so incredibly memorable. And then we actually joined up a fish chorba competition, which really was just a party, to be honest. The fish chorba was a secondary event to the good vibes and smiling people and very entertaining Serbians all around. And then we finished our crazy week with the Drina Regatta, which is incredible memory. I think it's the greatest party of my life. Uh, drinking beer and drinking rakia and everything in between as we cruise down the river. So it's been five or six days of pure action on the Serbian road trip and we're really glad to have made it to Mokragora. We've got a lot to do today, adventuring through this beautiful landscape. But first things first, I will show you our accommodation. Uh, our room is the very top one. So to be clear, our room is pretty simple. It's got high slope roof like an attic and no air conditioning, but no problem because we spend most of our time down here. And overall, it's really hard to try and find any flaw with the design or the construction of this place. It's near perfect. Love the wood paneling, love the high slope roofs, and there's even a pool down here, which to be clear, we haven't used, but uh, overall, this whole place is designed and put together just perfectly with the landscaping and everything. Nestled away on the top of the mountain, where it's a good 10 degrees cooler than down at the bottom of the mountain. So good relaxation for us as we uh, detox from our epic party. <laughs> Now, just over here, there's a wooden village, which was actually built as a movie set. And I think it's a source of pride for a lot of Serbians because the movie it was built for was directed by, I think, the number one Serbian director of all time. So we will go adventure there in a minute and maybe have some lunch. But first things first, yesterday we took a train ride, which I'll tell you more about in a minute. But from the train ride through the mountains, we saw a church looked very beautiful, looked very small and local, and we'd like to go on a bit of an adventure first. So first things first, we'll jump down there to this local looking church. I think we can find it. It's a small town. It can't be that far. So come with us. Let's go find a local church and see what it's all about. Let's go. Okay. And so this is the church we saw from atop the mountain when we were on our train ride. And if you look closely, I think a lot of the details here are actually train parts. I think this is, might be a train track or at least some sort of piece of a train. Looks very industrial and strong. And I will say this, the red brick on the church looks absolutely incredible. Very beautiful in the early morning sun. And inside the church, of course, very beautiful with some seemingly very new and fresh painted uh, inside and ceiling looks looks beautiful now let's talk about our experience yesterday on the train ride because one of the biggest tourist attractions here in Mokragora is this train ride which goes in a circle it's a scenic train where you get off where you started and it's incredibly popular with locals yes it was fully packed it was fully booked and there were lineups and everything I will say this as gently as possible for an international tourist, it's not exactly so memorable. Yeah, because I am not a train enthusiast. The train ride was a little bit underwhelming. Yes. But if you are, you know, really excited about trains, it might be very exciting for you. So it's a very historic train uh, in terms of the track itself was built like a hundred years ago. It's got some very old tunnels. Mm -hmm. They advertise it as a scenic train ride, although the viewpoints were considerably less beautiful than the one at our accommodation. <laughs> That's true. And I guess it's a source of Serbian pride because the train route is tied in with a movie called Life is a Miracle, mm -hmm. directed by a Serbian uh, director. Right. And so there's some points of the train ride that you visit sites in the movie. 
Uh, I couldn't believe how popular it was or how not memorable it was. <laughs> Honestly, there as were, an international tourist, I would skip it. Yeah, there were many international tourists as well. I mean, I got a brochure in Chinese language and I didn't even understand anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they saw Yvonne's face and they gave her the Chinese brochure, which was kind of funny. But uh, unbelievably popular. Yes. And yet really, it's a three hour, very slow train ride with yeah. more or less nothing to do. <laughs> so that being said, uh, it's time for lunch before we make our way to Zlatibor later today. So let's go for lunch. I like driving. Uh, I like driving in places like this. <laughs> Very beautiful. All right, introducing the place whose name is very hard to pronounce. Vanguard. Ivana and I have been calling it Dr. Vanguard. <laughs> it's pronounced. Do you want to try? The Vanguard. You're saying like a Z. I don't know where the Z comes from, but I'll go with it. Uh, in the end, it was built for a movie called Life is Beautiful, directed by the most uh, famous Serbian director. director. He won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, which is the highest wow. award for a fo foreign film more than once. And he got so popular in international fame that he ended up directing movies in Hollywood with the likes of Johnny Depp and Faye Dunaway. Now, to be clear, the train ride from earlier is 100 years old, but it was in the movie, whereas this particular place was built for the movie. So this is a new sort of construction and it translates to wooden village. So it looks like a million bucks. You can see all around me, the maintenance schedule is clearly on point because everything is perfect looking like it was just built yesterday. Although sort of similar to the train ride, I think it really appeals to the local crowd, especially people who have seen the movie and appreciate this famous director's uh, work. But for international tourists like us, it's just a very beautiful place for us to wander through with not much context. I will say we had a good experience in Mokogora. Yes. Really beautiful views, loved our accommodation, highly recommend that. Although I think the attractions here appeal to the Serbian pride more than the international tourist who's never seen the movie called Life is a Miracle. Yes, I want to find the movie now. I would really want to watch it. We got to find it and we got to find it with subtitles. Yes. Uh, I guess his work mostly started off focused around Serbian and I guess Yugoslavian local movies, mm. but he got he gained international acclaim and ended up in Hollywood. It's probably a good movie. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, we're coming here to look at the cool buildings and then just go for lunch yeah. rather than recreate our favorite scenes because we've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's eat. Breakfast buffet for seven bucks. Oh, I forgot a fork and knife. Oh, that looks so good, Steve. <laughs> Steve forgot his fork and knife. French toast. Okay, no maple syrup, but honey. <laughs> and kaimak. Kaimak. Look at mine. I'm gonna put my kaimak. Okay. I think this is polenta. Might be good. Sounds good. Mm. There you have it, guys. Yeah. So, simple time in Mokogora. Nice place for the view and some interesting history. Mm -hmm. Although, if you've never seen the movie, it's more just an Instagram spot than a history spot. Yeah. You know? For me, the whole town of Mokogora is very beautiful. The nature is beautiful. Even this, uh, the wooden village is beautiful. But it feels a little bit like it's built for tourists. Like a mini Disney village yeah it's got a funny feeling because they've got some restaurants obviously and some accommodations in the village yes but most of the buildings are empty so it's all perfect and very quiet mm -hmm. it's almost like walking through a movie set. <laughs> all right thanks for watching our video good place to detox after the regatta yeah it's very quiet step one regatta step two mokragora good mm -hmm. idea all right see you guys in the next video from Zlatibor. right by the way, look at this, okay? This right here, this is a sophisticated person, okay? Look at this. Look at this graveyard. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs>